Hi, Liz Ness here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this diagonal pattern, which is actually pretty straightforward to make, and it's really easy to modify. And we're going to make two stamps. We're going to make a texture, and then we're going to turn that texture into a stamp that you just do one tap and you lay it all down. So let's go ahead and get started. I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, which is important because again, the 300 dpi is 300 dots per inch. And I want to open up a nice grid for myself, So, but I want it to be two inches uh, for the square. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap canvas, drawing guide, and we're gonna edit the drawing guide. And instead of 300 by 300, I want it to be 600 in terms of the grid size. So I'm just gonna type in 600, I've got pixels selected, and I'm going to say done here. I also am gonna be working with the color black, so I wanna be able to see my grid, so I'm gonna change the color, and I'm gonna dial up the thickness and opacity so I can really see this. And then when I set aside, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap done. All right, now, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and be working with black here, so I'm gonna open up my disk, and I'm gonna double tap down here in the dark so that I make sure I get black, and then I'm going to come over to my selection tool here and I'm going to have rectangle selected and also color fill. And once I do, let me make this a little smaller. I'm just going to dial, I'm sorry, I'm going to start drawing a rectangle. And I'm just going to come into about two, two of these square sizes. It doesn't really matter if you are perfect or not. Um, because we're going to be stretching this too. But when you get it just about where you like it, um, you can go ahead and tap that selection tool to deselect it. <laughs> that sounds funny. Select to deselect. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do is select our transform tool. And we're going to rotate once by tapping rotate 45, just like that. And now I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see. We're just going to move this up so that it's basically bisecting right through where that corner is. So it's going right down the middle of that, um, that, that corner right there. So it's just going right through there. Okay. And then we're going to, um, select our frame form tool and I have snapping selected with three as a distance. And that is the default. We're going to leave it just like that. And what we want to do is we're going to grab this little dot here and we're going to keep that blue line showing. Oh, so I have uniform selected. Let's see. Let's reset that. 145. Select free form. Oh, here. I got to do this. Put this in position again. There we go. And we're just grab free form and bring it down. And now it should be doing the same thing as it's doing up here right through that center. And it is. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Let's make this just a that's fine, just like it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and select uniform. And I want to go ahead and have this this edge come right to that, that uh, part of my grid there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this middle one and bring this out. Whoops. Okay, and it goes right through that corner right there. Okay, so that makes it, and as you can see, it's also right here. So these become very important when we make our second line for our diagonal pattern. But right now, this is exactly what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that transform tool. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate. And this is where it all becomes important about this line and that line and using a grid. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and select my transform tool and I'm going to move that shape that I just duplicated and I want the bottom part to be lined up with this and this line right here where this intersects there and then I'm going to go ahead and match up the top one as well and I just want it right on that line and it just turns out that it works out so well because we've done this by threes so halves so if you've got snapping selected you can also look for the golden lines so uh, if you get it in position you'll see a gold line here and a gold line there and that's perfect all right so this is our tile and this is what we want i'm going to go ahead and turn off my drawing guide now and then let's go ahead and squish this down a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a texture brush. And I'm gonna to go to my essential starters here and I'll leave a link in the description below. These are free if you become an email subscriber. So I'm gonna select starters. 
and it's right here, the texture starter. So I'm going to tap that and gently slide it to the left and tap duplicate. And then after we make a texture starter, we're actually going to make, turn it into a stamp because this takes a long time to sort of lay out on the page. And I'm, I, I like to save time. <laughs> so we're going to turn it into a stamp. So all I have to do is tap once instead of having to fill it all out. So I'm going to go ahead while I'm in here and I'm going to tap that pattern stamp starter big and I'm going to slide it gently to the left and tap duplicate so that we're all ready here. So now I'm going to go back to that texture starter one, which is my first duplicate and just select it. So I'm ready to go here. The next thing I'm going to do is come over to my wrench and I'm going to select add and then copy canvas. And then I'm going to go back to that brush that I made. And then the brush itself will tell you whether it's the shape or the grain that needs to be replaced. And in this case, it's the grain. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap edit, import, and paste, and that'll paste the picture, the copy I just took. And if if it wasn't a basic shape like this, there was something else, and it was the opposite of what you wanted, you could just use two fingers to tap. And what you want is wherever there's light white, that is where the color will be laid down when you're making your texture. And when you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and tap done, and you can give it a name if you want to, but I'm not going to for this demonstration. And then just tap done. All right, so now let's go ahead and test our texture. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the visibility of these two layers and create a new layer on top there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and leave black because again, I'm gonna create a new texture uh, with, uh, I'm sorry, not a new texture, but a new stamp with the texture once I've laid it down. Now this is gonna take a little while to lay it down, so we're gonna go ahead and speed up this video so it doesn't take quite so long. Okay, there we go. We have our uh, texture all laid down and now I'm ready to turn it into a stamp so that it's a lot faster to apply next time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over to our uh, wrench here and add and copy canvas and we're going to go to that second stamp that I created here and we're going to tap it twice, open it and I believe, let's see, is it the shape? Yep, it's also the shape that we replaced. So we're going to go ahead and tap edit, import and paste. Awesome, and then done when we're satisfied with that. And we can, again, we can name it if we want to, but I'm not going to for this demonstration. And then done. All right, and then let's go ahead and turn the visibility off of our texture here and create a new layer. And let's go ahead and choose a color like, oh, I like that blue, that's kind of nice. So let's go tap down there. So much faster. <laughs> this is why I like creating a pattern stamps, nice big stamps. And again, I'll leave a link to those essential starters because they're just really great time savers in the description below. But here's the cool thing. And this is this is one of the reasons I really like, besides being kind of a cool pattern, um, this particular one is really easy to modify, recolor the way you want to. So let's go ahead and choose like a nice contrasting color, like, I don't know, like orange or yellow here, maybe this something like, well, let's see. Yeah, something like that. Now I can just go ahead and drop it into one of the lines and it'll fill it for me. And so it makes it really easy to modify this uh, this particular pattern very quickly in ways that you, know, you might want to uh, for different effects and for different uses. And so that's why I really, really like this particular pattern. It's really pretty basic to make. Um, and then it's also super easy to modify. So it doesn't take like a two stamp process or anything like that. Um, so it's, it's one of my, my favorite patterns. <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed this video and watching how to make this. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. So you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.